the first step in the hose fabrication process is cutting the hose. Once we've marked the hose to the final length to your specifications, it's time to make the cut. Now this may seem like a fairly easy task, but we have a very specialized saw with a special blade that's extremely sharp and is able to cut through the stainless steel braid hose. But in addition to that, we need a special blade so that we don't end up uh, creating any serrated edges on the Teflon hose, getting any debris into the hose, and also we don't want to uh, dent the hose at all. After we've cut the hose, it's time to lay out all the components. Uh, you can see that organization is very important. So here we have the hose laid out as well as all the fittings, fire sleeve, fire sleeve bands, and covers. What we're going to do is we are going to show you how we make a Dash 3 clear coated hose assembly. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to select our crimp. And this is a 3 16 inch hose, so we click on, click on that and we're going to do the ASF demo hose. We're going to load it and then click OK. So now you hear the hydraulics on the machine spool up. The screen right now is showing that we are requesting an 8.25 millimeter crimp. It's saying that it's a 7.8 millimeter die hypothetically, and currently the head is at 11.17 millimeters. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to do this in semi-automatic mode. So we're going to take a look at the crimp head. Here it is. Insert our hose. Come down on it, crimp it, and then remove the assembly. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to measure this one. And my actual measurement that I'm getting is 8.05 millimeters. So we under crimped by 0.2 millimeters. So we asked for 8.25, we got 8.05 millimeters. So what we do next is come to our adjuster here, we click adjust crimp, and we tell it that we actually got an 8.05 millimeter crimp. We hit enter, we click OK. Now we make our second crimp. Put it in. Okay, so now that crimp is complete. 8.26 millimeters on this crimp. So, as you can tell, this is extremely, extremely accurate from a crimping standpoint. And utilizing uh, this machine, what we're able to do is, once we have our crimp specs dialed in, we can go ahead and we can save all the data. And then the next time we go to crimp, it's going to be all set up and it's going to crimp it to that exact same spec. Now some other neat things that this machine has is you'll notice that there's a PSI value in the top. So not only will it account for the correct diameter, it'll also account for spring back. So if we were, all the fittings that we do are stainless steel, but if we needed to crimp aluminum or something different for some reason, it would actually also be able to compute that spring back because there's a force meter on it and it tells how many PSI it's using um, of you know, the, the crimping and the hydraulics and it has a force feedback feature. So not only does it know the position of the head, but how much force it's using, and it's making computations, you know, tons of them every second, so that as it's crimping down, it can get you that perfect spec at the end of your hose. Every fitting we crimp gets a micrometer put on it to verify that the tolerances are correct. Then we slide fire sleeve onto your hose. Once we've completed the crimping process, we come over to our hose testing equipment. Now you'll notice that this hose testing equipment is a stainless steel uh, box with a very thick plexiglass cover that's for operator safety. And it operates on the principle of filling your hose with water first and then introducing pressure to the hose. Uh, and what we do is, we once we've pressurized the hose, we verify that there's no leaks, no water coming out of the fittings or the crimps. What we're doing here is we're pressure testing the hose up to 2500 PSI and then we're going to let your hose sit for 30 seconds under that pressure. Now that may seem like a lot of pressure, but you have to remember that that's the continuous working rated pressure of this hose. So when we're doing this, um, the burst pressure of this hose might be around 10,000 PSI. We test it to 2,500 PSI, and in your aircraft it's only going to be running 
maybe 30 PSI. So there's a huge safety margin on these hoses. So long as there's no leaks, we're good to go. Once we finish pressure testing your hose, uh, we put them uh, all out and have them ready for shipment. And that is the complete process from start to finish. We hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us.